in the closet in the dark for a very, very long time. Have you had opportunities to virtually ask them anything you have wanted? Yes, I have. Have you ever asked them about crop circles? Yes, I have. And? They said it's fifth dimensional geometry. And they are leaving these, um, the races that leave them, it is a language that is being left for the Magi. Now, who are the Magi? The Magi are the Blue Bloods. They are what's left over. Let me, let, okay, let me back up a little bit. The Magi are, are human beings mm -hmm. whose, tr whose bloodline is extraterrestrial. Now, We'll just, we'll just take Nibiru. We'll just start with them since they were the last massive group that were here. Right. Okay? When they left, many of the males, and, and I believe the Bible even refers to this, the sons of God um, admired the, the, the females of men, or the daughters of man. Yes. They slept with them, Art. They yes. They left offspring. Yes, I know. Okay? But they were considered half-breeds. They were not allowed to go with their fathers back to the home planet. That's why we had the flood, right? That's exactly right. They tried to wipe out everything, but some survived. And those that did survive were given technology and a specific bloodline. Now, they have survived. Um, you have your blue bloods of Europe. They always try to marry within the same lineage. Okay? Mm -hmm. There are others that we know nothing about. Most of our political figures, most of our historical figures, were nothing more than puppets for the Magi, for these ruling elite who are half extraterrestrial, who have extended lifespans. Now, Let's talk about, and, and I, I want to I bring up a quote here by Winston Churchill. Okay. After the Bretton Woods Conference, after World War II, he walked out of a meeting, and he turned to a friend of his who was a reporter and said, you know, the world is run by very different personages, and when spoken of, even in private, you only dare do so in a whisper. Now, he didn't say human beings. He didn't say man. He said personages. Mm -hmm. And that means personality. That was a very significant statement. And it was his way of, of trying to say he knew that there was a whole other element of control going on here that nobody else knew about. And I know this is very difficult for people to understand. You know, and I'm sorry that you may have a difficult time with this. I'm not all that happy to have to tell you this. But this is just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Everything, virtually everything we have been taught is not the way it really is. The Bible? Um, <laughs> oh, boy. You want to go down that road, huh? Well, sure. I'm, I'm not afraid of any roads. I don't care. Okay. Sure. I, I mean, look. Let us begin at the beginning. Genesis. It Genesis. tells us. It that, tells that, us that, about creation, supposedly. Yes, it does. But you know, understand that. Uh, well, Art, the, the God of the Bible, uh, both in the New Testament and the Old Testament, are extraterrestrials. End of story. That's who they are. They're extraterrestrials. So then. The Bible, with regard to Genesis, particularly. Um, it's the Cliff Notes version of part of our history. <sighs> and I know a lot of people have trouble with this. I know. You know, and they're going to. Um, and again, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's what I've been told, and I know for a fact that that's true for me. I know for a fact that it's true. They were extraterrestrials. Uh, so they are our creators. Well, you're talking about the physicality. You're talking about creating, manipulating physical form. Yes. Okay? There's a whole other element to us, and that's our multidimensional souls. That, 
they did not create, create, and in fact, the Andromedans themselves don't know exactly where the archetype of the original soul actually comes from. Uh -huh. you, that's uh, where I was. Uh, that's what I was going to okay. ask next. In other words, do they worship a deity, or do they simply puzzle at a creation that precedes them? They puzzle after a creation that precedes them, and they refer to it as the isness. The what? Isness. They call it the isness. Um, it, it, in other words, in relating it to me, they would they refer to it as the isness. We call it God. There is a force, an energy, a consciousness that literally created the space which we call our universe, which is multidimensional, which according to the Andromedans has over a hundred trillion galaxies in it. You know. There are many who are going to say that what you are saying is heresy, what you are saying, uh, you, you have been misled. Uh, if you are not lying, then you are dealing with representatives of Satan. There is no Satan, Art. The Catholic Church made it up. They even admitted it. They even admitted to creating the devil. But nobody wants to listen because everybody is so hooked on fear. People have become addicted to being afraid mm -hmm. of something. A, a vengeful God? Well, that's what the Bible says. A God to I be am feared. a loving and forgiving God, yep. yet I'm a jealous God yep. who will I, I throw an abyss for, for making a mistake. Yeah, I, I never bought into that part right. either. Um, a, a jealous God who would, if you thought about anything other than him, get angry and toss you into the fiery abyss, yes. But if he was the only one, what would he be afraid of? I mean, you know. I don't get it. I never did. And uh, I know. I, I know. Um, a lot of people are going to have trouble with this, but you know what, Art? There's a lot of people that don't have trouble with it. They know that something's wrong. They've known since they were young. They just didn't have the pieces of the puzzle. My I have some, and there are going to be others that are going to be following me. Alex, my mind is absolutely open to this, and that will get me... Uh, hung by important parts of my body, you know, and that's fine too. My mind is open to this. I can listen to this as easily as I can listen to the traditional biblical version of how it all occurred, and I can consider it just as easily. And I suppose that means I'm headed for the fiery abyss. Art, there is no fiery abyss. Well, that's, it's good to know. Under the <laughs> you know, the only hell is the one we create in our heads. Yeah, or, or create right here on earth. Right. For example, here's, here's a quote by Mornay. Truth within you as a race is silent. On your world, conditioning is the voice so often spoken. It is not by thoughts or words that are spoken that reveal to us the soul. In our perception, it is through man's silence that we come to know him best. Human beings on your world become blind if they continue to walk as the shadow of their own enlightenment. Is there a heaven? As we, as we understand heaven? Heaven, their perception of heaven is a higher dimensional realm. Uh, but as we understand, conventionally understand heaven uh, flitting about as angels and whatever we imagine uh, heaven to be, not that heaven. <laughs> no, no, it's not quite like that. So it's kind of like everything we understand or believe to be true, many out there, mm -hmm. simply ain't so. It ain't so. We have been led in a whole other direction to keep us stuck because there are some races, Art, that have a lot of trouble uh, with us evolving to our full potential. All right, here's something for you. Okay, because they consider us beasts. I understand. The, the average person would say, fine. You've had contact hundreds of times with them. Surely at some point through all of this, you must have said to them, this message is very difficult to take to humans. They don't believe it. What proof can you give me to take to them? Oh, whoever the person is, you have no idea how many times I've had that discussion. 
Um, in fact, one of the contactees in South America who is currently having contact with Morinae apparently decided um, that he was no longer going to have contact because he simply could not and would not give out the message because he feared that he would be killed. And well, he's got a pretty good point. Yes, 